Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today to show you my collection of LEGO Scooby-Doo minifigures. I myself do have all the LEGO Scooby-Doo sets that are on the market, so I pretty much have all the figures. The only minifigure I'm missing from the Scooby-Doo gang is Velma. I plan on getting her soon, but right now the minimum is like $20 on BrickLink and that's just a little too much for me. The first Scooby-Doo minifigure in my collection is of course Daphne. She's a really awesome figure. As you can see for her pants, she's got like a skirt on and you can see sort of her legs with some purple shoes of course. She's got the classic purple Daphne torso with that huge green scarf. And as you can see, she has a little bit of back printing. She's got a really big smiling face because Daphne's always smiling. When you take Daphne's hair off, you can see that she's quite scared. And then as you can see, she's got the classic Daphne hair with, you know, that's huge and puffy and flowing and orange. Daphne's hair has to be orange. Fred looks really cool too. Unlike Daphne, his pants have no printing on it whatsoever. The torso only has minimal printing with his orange scarf with his blue collar on the front. And the back of his torso has even less printing. His face has got the classic I can do anything Fred look. Fred's head also has some back printing and as you can see he looks pretty scared. And then his hair is pretty neat. I really like the shade of yellow they used for his hair and just with the overall spike it kind of looks like Elvis Presley hair. Now Shaggy he's a pretty cool figure especially since I have five of him. Shaggy comes in all five sets, and as you can see, there's only three different variations of him. For Shaggy variation number one, as you can see, he's wearing dark red pants. He's wearing the Shaggy green shirt with, you know, the little wrinkle and then the v-neck. And his wrinkles are even continued on around back. His shirt is short sleeve, which is pretty cool. The face is really the only thing different about this minifigure. As you can see, this is kind of the, the cool looking Shaggy. He's got the blank expression. He's not happy. I mean, he's kind of happy, but he's not sad. He's just trying to look cool. And then his hair is pretty much the same throughout all the sets. As you can see, he's got like the shag going on I guess that's why they call him shaggy and that's cool in this variation of shaggy he does have a different face now this is the scared looking shaggy face in variation number two of shaggy absolutely everything this is the same except for his face when you take the hair off you can clearly see that he's actually the happy shaggy you know he's showing some of his teeth and then when you turn his face around he's sad shaggy Variation number three of Shaggy is a different torso. This time, he's because he's at the lighthouse, he's got like seaweed on him, including a starfish, because Scooby is driving him around on the jet ski. His back printing has got some more like seaweed on it. And his head's the exact same as the second variation of Shaggy. As you can see, he's smiling, he's happy, then he's sad. If there's five Shaggies, that must mean there are five Scooby Doo's. Unlike Shaggy only having three variations, Scooby actually has four. Scooby's variations include two sitting down versions of Scooby and two standing up versions. The two sitting down versions, as you can see, are pretty much the same from all sides. The only thing different is their face, which we'll talk about in a minute. This variation of Scooby, Scooby looks, you know, pretty happy, pretty normal, no expression. But when you turn him around a little, you can see he's quite scared because he's got his teeth. They look quite frightened. In this other Scooby-Doo variation, Scooby's pretty much smiling all the way around. But as you can see, he's got some goggles on his head because this Scooby-Doo is from the set where they fly in the airplane. Just like the sitting down Scoobies, the two versions of the sitting up Scoobies look pretty much the same. For this particular Scooby, like the sitting down one, he looks pretty calm from this side. But then when you turn each of them around, you can see that Scooby looks quite frightened. These Scooby-Doo figures also look very similar, but one has the goggles on and the standing up one does not. So there you have it, now you've seen my entire Scooby-Doo Lego minifigure collection. As I mentioned, if Velma ever does go down in price, I'll probably pick her up, but in the meantime, I think I might have to make a custom version of her, so I can say I have the whole Scooby-Doo gang. Thanks everybody for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a comment as well as a like. Thanks everybody for watching, and have a great day.